Hey guys, it's me Nico. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another unfortunate to say <laughs> late weekly update. Um, first of all, before I get into anything else, I did have a legitimate reason this time as to why this update was late, not because of laziness or anything else. Then again, all of the times that I have had a late weekly update is because of other things going on in my life. But this time I did not really plan for this update to be late. I didn't even know uh, I would be staying out that long uh, until uh, yesterday. But uh, I had a uh, family emergency yesterday. My uncle is current, well not my uncle, but um, my grandpa, uh, one of my grandpas, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer earlier uh, in 2012. Uh, the cancer has not really gone to remission and chemo is not really working anymore and uh, we recently just found out he only has a couple of weeks to live. Um, so that is the main reason why my family just decided we need to make an emergency trip down there to go see him and tell him that we're praying for him, you know, that we're going to be there for him as a family. And that's basically what we did. Uh, I packed all my crap within 30 minutes and uh, we hauled butt down there to L.A. And uh, we got there shortly around uh, 8 o'clock and, you know, we paid our dues to him. And after that, uh, you know, we went back to my other grandparents house and we slept there for the night um, after that we took care of uh, business and uh, I actually ended up making a surprise trip to the Ontario Mills Lego store where I did get another huge haul from there um, and you guys will probably see that later in the video and then after that I came back here to Fresno and now I'm here so anyways guys let's get down to everything else in the update um, starting with which is always Geonosis I've decided that I'm officially going to do an episode 2 Genesis series, if I didn't say that last weekly update. Uh, I'm going to be doing an entire series based off of the uh, battle on Genesis. I'm basically going to have like a scene on the Genesis battlefield, droids on one side, clones on the other with their Jedi leader. And I'm going to be doing that for all of the known Jedi commanders uh, or Jedi generals who survived the uh, battle in the Geonosian arena. So you might see Kit Fisto, you might see Mace Windu leading his faction. Of course you're not going to see Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi because they were with uh, Senator Padme Amidala when they were going to go chase down Count Dooku. But you might see Kaede Mundi, you might see Ayla Sakura, all the other Jedi who are not involved with the main lightsaber duel scene towards the end of episode 2. But that's what's going to be going on with the Clone Wars, or not the Clone Wars, the uh, Genosis series. I'm not going to be redoing the Clone Wars one again because, I mean, that whole uh, series was a fail in my opinion. And um, I don't think I would be able to do a better job of portraying that, doing it all over again. Um, so, moving on, mock tips. The mock tips segment is probably going to come really soon. Because of that haul I made, that surprise haul I made, I ended up getting a lot of supplies that uh, I didn't think I would get for quite a while. So um, one thing that might be certain is that this mock, which is actually the last mock I was supposed to be working on for the Clone Wars mock series, might come before all of the other Clone, mocks, Clone Wars mocks are finished. So by the time the Coruscant uh, Prison Riot mock is done, um, or the Mandalore takeover is done or the improvised version of the Yavin 4 mock is done. Yeah guys, I'm not going to show you guys that thing almost fully finished. Um, this mock here might be finished and uh, I think you guys will really like how this mock turned out. Um, now let's get down to the Clone Wars mock series itself. Uh, the Clone Wars mock series is coming along very well. Um, I'm actually decided to push the due date back from uh, obviously March 21st. Uh, originally I was going to push it back to April 9th, but as you can see, it's already April 1st and I don't think I'll finish all those mocks in eight days. So I just pushed it back to April 21st and uh, that's when really all of the mocks will be released unless I end up finishing one of them early and I reach 20,000 views on Flickr. In that case, I will be pro probably doing a preview video um, just on the alternative channel. 
and I might just do a preview on Flickr as well. And whatever mock that's on, um, it will more than likely prob it will more than likely be this mock here or the prison mock, which I'll actually get to show you guys later on in the video now that I move that mock to my room. Um, again, so next thing here. I'm going to get to showing you guys that Lego store haul in a minute also. Now we get down to the conventions. Conventions, conventions, convention, conventions. Uh, Bricks by the Bay, guys, as you guys know, I'm officially going. So is my team. Uh, as of now, the team is fully composed. Um, every single team member has put, on, put in work on Yavin 4, except for Darren, simply because she has unexpected unexpected spring break plans and was not able to work at all during spring break. Um, because of that, I will not be seeing her for about another week, So she, uh, and when that happens, that's when she'll be able to finally put some work in on Yavin, and hopefully by that time also, all the financial information about Bricks by the Bay will be updated on the Bricks by the Bay webpage, and we will have that official meeting with all of the parents and every single person who's going to that convention amongst the team. So that is it for that. As for the status of BrickCon, um, as the weeks get, as the weeks go by, it's becoming more and more uncertain. I know I said that if we didn't talk about um, BrickCon at all, we didn't get to all the financials um, by this weekly update, then we probably aren't going. That still stands. Um, however, I'm not going to fully count it out until my mom says, "No way in hell, you guys are going to go down there." Um, and uh, same thing with the parents of my team members. So we're going to keep that under wraps for now. But um, as of right now, it's still uncertain whether we're going to brick on or not. Um, the convention updates now. They have a minute cap. I think I already went over that before. Um, but last Bricks by the Bay update went over that minute cap. Simply because I wanted to try out the new system I was going to use for the update. And uh, that turned out pretty well. I didn't miss anything that time. So yeah, went pretty good. Uh, as for the team work days, I already told you guys Darren hasn't put in work yet, but as far as partial team work days overall, we have probably close to 15 partial team work days, mostly consisting of Ben and Jeff working together. I know I have one of Justine working with Jeff, um, but really those are the only uh, partial work days we have. We don't have any partial work days where there's like three people working on the mock, um, you know, minus myself. Uh, or we haven't had like a full team work day yet, so that's unfortunate, but we're going to get down to it. Um, and uh, as you can see uh, how everything's laid out here, I have some chairs laid out across from Yavin. Uh, I got my little setup going here with Umbara. Every single mock on this table here is probably going to be the basis for a convention mock. And we might actually be using this table here for s some of the non-base plate convention mocks, such as the Hunger Games mock and the Tron mock. Um, as for the other mocks like the Brick uh, Operation Brick Freedom collaboration, the Warhammer 40k, a lot of those will probably be consisting of these base plates here. So that's what's going to be going on with that. Uh, for the rest of the uh, information for the Bricks by the Bay uh, mocks, go check out the Bricks by the Bay updates. They're on the Alternative channel, and those are updated every two weeks. Um, I'm not going to really discuss more information on any of the Bricks by the Bay mocks until then. Now let's get down to my bedroom where I can show you guys some of the other cool stuff I've been working on. Alright guys, quick notes. Uh, I know I said that was probably the last things I was going to say about the Bricks by the Bay mocks until uh, the next Bricks by the Bay update, or weekly update, whichever comes first. But one thing I didn't want to forget was um, that what I, was, I just wanted to tell you guys what we're going to do with the Assassin's Creed mock and the Hunger Games mock. Hunger Games mock, as you know, the second Hunger Games, Catching Fire, is coming out really, really soon. We're probably going to do a mock based off that instead of the original scene uh, from the first Hunger Games book uh, slash movie. And uh, once we get that, uh, once we see the second movie, if it comes out before Bricks by the Bay, guaranteed we're going to be doing a mock based on the second book. Um, as for the Assassin's Creed mock, Assassin's Creed 4 has already been released, and I've already seen the trailer for that. I do believe possibly Assassin's Creed 5 might come out before Bricks by the Bay. If it doesn't, we're going to do a trailer based off Assassin's Creed 4. Just so we keep things fresh and, you know, we not, we're not bringing stuff back from, like, years past. 
and you know because Assassin's Creed really wasn't that popular and Hunger Games is kind of getting old well not really getting old but you know fans kind of want to see new and improved stuff so we're gonna keep you guys updated with that and uh, as for the zombie mock um, a lot of new stuff from Citizen Brick and a couple of other vendors um, I'm probably going to be going into this mock. I still have to message uh, Joe from Citizen Brick about my stuff um, and uh, get stuff working with that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's cut back to the newer stuff. Alright, guys, before I get into the Lego stuff, let's go into no some non-Lego stuff really quick. Um, by the way, there's the hall. Here uh, are a couple of things that I kind of want you guys to know. Um, Poppy... He's been keeping me busy still, but I'm glad to say that I'm finally getting back on track with videos, um, even though I'm pretty much watching him and raising him every day. Uh, Biscuit's now like 17 weeks old. Um, it's been two weeks, actually, since Nemo's passed away. Um, and as you guys know, Nemo was my moneymaker. I've had him in a lot of other weekly updates and a couple of other videos. Um, it's really unfortunate to say that he's gone, but um, Biscuit's been keeping me a lot of company, and, um, you know, he's been... Continuing Nemo's tradition as the guard dog now. So, uh, anyways, let's get down to less depressing non-Lego subjects. Uh, the LA Lakers, uh, they're hanging on for dear life. I was able to catch the last of the game against the Sacramento Kings, and we're glad that they won. Um, so, you know, they're hanging on for dear life. We still are unsure if they're going to make the playoffs or not. I'm hoping they do. But, yeah. Just hoping that they don't screw things up. You guys already know what happened. Football. Uh, baseball is going to start up again. So hopefully the Giants can repeat winning the World Series again. Although I highly doubt it. But they better just put up a fight this year. Uh, next thing would probably be the uh, Sharks for hockey. They're not doing too hot as well. Uh, they're, you know, doing okay. But uh, hopefully if they make it to the playoffs, then they'll do pretty good there and they'll end up winning the Stanley Cup. So that is it for the non-LEGO subjects. Let's get on to the LEGO subjects here. Um, for everything else non-LEGO, go check out my daily vlogs. Um, they're on the vlog channel and uh, I'm going to do my best to start getting those vlogs up back uh, really, really soon. Uh, mock pages. Mock pages, mock pages, mock pages. Uh, whatever mock is finished between that reach between the Chandrilla recon mock, which is that mock that you saw with the water detail earlier, or this mock here, this is the prison mock, and it actually is coming along decently well. I actually turns out I do have to make another Brickling quarter after all. Um, between those, whichever one's finished, those will be going up on the mock pages account, and uh, hopefully, uh, those will be mock pages worthy. I think mock pages is a better place since it's all predominantly Lego and Flickr. Uh, even though Flickr is commonly used by a lot of Lego enthusiasts, it's still not a strictly Lego website. So uh, I just want to get a mock done so I can put on the mock pages page and hopefully that mock will be good enough to where it'll get a lot of views on there. Here is the Lego store haul um, minus the Z95 Headhunter sets and uh, the Series 9 minifigures. These are not part of the haul, but this all is. Uh, I managed to get this Bark Speeder with Sidecar, thank God. I was looking for this at Target, I thought this was going to be a Target exclusive, but unfortunately it wasn't, it wasn't a Walmart exclusive, so I had to wait until I went to the Lego store, and luckily for me, we made that emergency trip, and I was glad to say that I finally got this. Mainly happy because of the two commando droids, the ship itself, and uh, the season for Obi-Wan. So we can go with my uh, Ahsoka and uh, Anakin. As for the bricks, these bricks here, or these pick-a-brick cups, they're not important because these are not going to be going towards the mocks, at least not that I don't think these mocks, or these pick-a-brick cups are for my team members. I got them as Easter gifts for them. And I did get stuff from my brothers also, but they're already playing with it, so I'm not going to bring those back just to show in the update. But those were two small pick a brick cups. Uh, this pick a brick cup is very unique. A lot of these are going to have uh, pieces for the water detail and uh, some brown so we can finish off the uh, recon mock on Chandrilla and the uniquely uh, designed three, uh, two by three purple pieces. I figure I get those because they look pretty rare. Um, the rest are all going to go towards some of the mandal, some of uh, 
some are going to go towards the Mandalore Mock, others are going to go towards Geonosis, and others are going to go towards uh, Yavin 4, and other mocks that need vegetation. Uh, so, that is it for the haul. As for Minifix for You products, all the Minifix for You figure reviews have been uploaded to YouTube already. Same thing with the Republic Custom minifigure, re minifigure reviews. I have uh, a couple of RC Custom uh, minifigures lined up, minifigure orders lined up. As for uh, Minifix for You, I was not able to get uh, the Umbaran line. Two out of the four figures have already sold out. Um, and uh, I'm not going to continue with getting that line. I have started my initial plans for Operation Brick Freedom. I've looked at Brick Mania. I've looked at uh, Brick Forge and Brick Arms for some weapons and figures for that. I got some orders for, the, for that planning out, uh, coming out. Nothing new with the Warhammer 40k mock. This is still the one individual Space Marine, which by the way is getting a lot of favorites on Flickr really quick. I actually liked how that turned out. I'm really glad that Jeff pulled that off, and I can't wait for us to start working on some of the other uh, Warhammer uh, Space Marines and getting that underway soon. So, next thing would be, would be, would be, would be, would be, um, aside from the 2013 Bark Speeder, I did not get any new sets yet. I'm actually going to try to get the A-Wing, and I'm gonna, actually going to get another 501st ATRT. Mainly for the Elite Commando Droid and the 501st Trooper. Um, and aside from that, uh, it will be just all of the other Umbaran sets and, uh, you know, maybe the Rancor Pit, but then I'll feel obligated to get the Jabba's Palace, which costs a lot. So, you know, we'll see what's going to go on there. Uh, as for the Series 9 minifigures, I've had these for a couple of weeks now, so these aren't new. Same thing with the Z95 Head Under promos. Uh, I've already seen Series 10 start popping up at some places in Europe and even some places in the U.S. I might get a little bit uh, of those when I get a chance, but again, I haven't been able to go out and get as many Series figures as I want recently, so I'm unsure how that's going to go. As for my Marvel superheroes, mainly the Avengers as of now, uh, Brickling Order, I might just get all of the Marvel superheroes, meaning Deadpool, um, Wolverine, Spider-Man, and you know the remaining members of the Avengers, Hulk and Black Widow. I might just get all of them just so I'm not going to waste like 40 bucks on just two figures. So, you know, I might just do an entire Marvel superheroes Bricklink order, um, and I have that already planned out. It's just a matter of getting the money to buy it. And last thing, as always, I'm still looking for figures, so if you guys have any clones, any sets, you know, you guys don't want anymore, please let me know, uh, any figures. So, that is pretty much it for this weekly update, guys. Thanks again for watching. I apologize for the lateness in this video. I hope to see you guys in another weekly update, and uh, hopefully I'll get one of the Clone Wars mocks finished by the end of the week. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.